So Connor, we're here at the Harrison's Hub today as part of the EFL's Weeks of Action, celebrating the work that clubs do out in the community and it's really valuable work that is done, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, delighted to be here today. Myself and Dobbs have come down to show our faces, to show our support. Um, you know, people that uh, are maybe a little less fortunate than, than others to, to have their hot meal and stuff like that. So amazing work that Derby are doing here today and um, hopefully they'll put some smiles on some faces, yeah. And that kind of work is vital, especially given the growing cost of living. People are struggling to make ends meet, aren't they? So being able to put on meals like this is really valuable for them. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, like I said, it's, it's not easy out there at the minute for everyone. Um, you know, the cost of living has, has gone up and up and up. So, um, you know, people are finding it difficult, but um, credit to, you know, all the communities and, and, and Derby, especially, obviously, for, for putting this on today. I know it's, it's funded by the fans as well. So, um, you know, credit to them, um, showing that everyone's kind of chipping in together and every, every little help. So, um, you know, it's for a great cause. So it's, it's nice to be here. Yeah, you've touched on it there and it really shows the importance of everyone in Derby coming together that they're buying space on the 1884 wall is what's funded this kind of project to help those less fortunate than themselves. Shows a lot about the people of this city, doesn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, like you said, it's not easy for, for people out there at the minute. So for, for the fans and for people to be chipping in, um, which wouldn't be easy for them either. Um, you know, to make the, to make people, uh, you know, eat and, and and live and whatever whatever the case may be. So full credit to everyone for pulling together. It's amazing and uh, like I said, just uh, delighted to be here to to see to see the work that people are doing and like you said, putting smiles on faces, which is what it's all about. Back to football, back to the day job. You've had a smile on your face recently. Two goals in your last three games. Yeah, it's been great. Um, I think everyone's been performing well. It makes um, you know your own job that little bit easier when the people around you are, do are doing amazingly well as well. Everyone's high on confidence. Um, and I hope long may it continue. We're on a great run. Hopefully that will continue into this weekend's game. It's going to be an exciting one. But um, no, we're, we're doing well. On a personal note, how pleased were you to get that first goal in the Atkinson game and get that mug you've been after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, oh, it's been a running joke for a little bit. Um, I'd scored a few for the previous manager and since Paul's come in I hadn't got on the score sheet for him quite yet so um, before that game he, he kind of mentioned to me about getting forward that little bit more um, you know with, with Knight in there it helps me maybe to, to have that little bit more license to get forward so um, that's worked well over the last couple of day, uh, over the last couple of games sorry and uh, I've um, probably taken a little bit of advantage of that which is nice. I was going to mention that so you do seem to be getting higher up the pitch and your goals and assists in recent weeks seem to be tallying with that has that been a conscious effort to be doing so? Yeah I've wanted to get forward that little bit more I suppose look with, Knight, with Knighty in there um, and, and Birdie's been kind of maybe getting that little bit more forward as well recently um, Knighty's probably got that more of a midfielder mentality which um, kind of balances off nicely with us um, previously before obviously we were playing with Colo and Didzi up there and it might have um, kind of held me and Birdie back that little bit more so just to have the extra midfielder in there I think has helped me in uh, Birdie selfishly um, from that point of view and over the last couple of weeks it's been taken away nicely. So you've not had too much time playing alongside Knighty this season have you? He's been at right back earlier in the season and only really the last few weeks you've had the chance to rekindle that partnership from your international duty. Yeah, yeah, well look I know what Knighty gives, he gives that energy, he gives that legs, he's very good at pressing obviously he's, he's very intelligent player as well um, you know gets around the pitch really well and, and, and really good on the football as well so um, just as an overall kind of uh, compliment to what me and Birdie already have is he probably fits the bill really, really nicely. So um, it just seems to be balancing it off. On top of that, we're winning games and um, everyone's going from strength to strength and, and has got confidence. So we're in a good place. You've mentioned it there, unbeaten run. Everyone seems very confident and this is the kind of run you need to put together if you're going to be successful in your targets for the season, isn't it? Yeah, look, um, I suppose when the gaffer came in first, we were drawing a few too many games. But we've slowly but surely took on the on the info that he wants us to take and we're slowly turning them and uh, draws into wins and more regularly you now as well so which which gets us comfortably kind of in the playoffs and now we're trying to you know push on even further so um you know there's a long way to go and um, let's see where it takes us but uh, it feels like we're um, we're going from strength to strength which is important what do you feel have been the keys in turning those draws into wins of late uh, I think it's a bit of everything really. I think the lads at the back have been absolutely terrific. Um, you know, Joe and the back four are settled, which is which always helps. That hasn't been too much chopping and changing. Um, there's probably been eight, nine consistent players out there over the last kind of six weeks, which which is good. Um, and we seem to be clicking at the right time. The lads on the, on the wing, uh, whether it's Dobbs and Tom or Nat, whoever it may be, um, you know, are, are chipping in with goals as well. It feels like the goals are coming from all areas, which helps. And then to mix it with a lot of clean sheets on top of that is, is usually a good recipe. So I think everyone's playing their part and um, yeah, hopefully that will continue. 
and a new face to add into the camp this week as well. What's Tony Springett been like since he's arrived on Monday? Yeah, really good. Um, he's only been training a couple of days, but he looks sharp. Um, you know, he's a left-footed winger, can play left-back. Um, you know, looks like he's got a lot of energy, can get up and down the pitch, comfortable on the ball as well. So, no doubt he'll um, be a good addition to the squad and play his part towards the end of the season. And this good form is meaning that you're starting to build a gap between yourselves and seventh place. How much focus now goes on chasing down those top two and continuing to build that gap? Yeah, that's that's hopefully the plan. I think um, you know we wanted to cement ourselves in the playoffs for the time being first and foremost. We feel like we're doing that. Um, and hopefully now we can go on some sort of run that we can close that gap. We're obviously hoping that, that the top two or three up there maybe have a little bit of a slide as well, which would maybe ease our, our run a little bit. But look, we only can look after ourselves and Game by game, we have to take care of uh, you know our performances, and hopefully the results will follow. And uh, hopefully, over the course of the, the season, uh, between now and the end of the season, that gap will close. And he's facing another side in the mix on Saturday. What can you learn from the very recent meeting with them just four weeks ago? Yeah, look, they're a good side. Um, you know, they're banging in the mix themselves. They'll be kind of have the same ambitions as us, cementing the playoff position, and then see where it takes them after that. It was a very tight game. There wasn't much in it. There was a couple of chances that maybe each team could have nicked it, maybe one nil. Uh, but I expect another tight game again and uh, you know, hopefully we can come out on top and create that little bit of quality that might win the game. When you play a side twice in quick succession like this, is there much that you take from a previous game or is it like that's chalked off and you start afresh? I, th I do think you look at it a little bit and see the weaknesses and maybe where you could have improved on a little bit and uh, you, know, you, you study them and I suppose it's fresh in the memory so you probably, you know, the manager and, and the assistants and, and the coach have been asking us for our feedback a little bit on this game because it's such fresh in the memories and we were, and a lot of the players are still the, the, kind of the you know if it was the start of the season and in March time players might change or whatever but because it's so close together it's, it's pretty much the same kind of team um, again and it, it is similar to Bolton as well it's pretty much the same team for them as well so it's fresh in everyone's mind so um, like I said it's going to be a close one again two good teams expect a massive crowd and you know good atmosphere and like I said hopefully we can come out on top in this one. I was about to mention it myself and you beat me to it. It will be a big crowd. They've sold out their away end. We're expecting a crowd of around 30,000 for it. This is a kind of big game that footballers relish, isn't it? Yeah, massive. It's, look, it's a championship game, top-end championship game uh, attendance. Um, you know, two big clubs going at it. You know, Derby obviously being a, a huge club and, and Bolton as well, you know, having years in, 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 the, in the Premier League. It's, it's going to be a tasty one. It was the same at their place. You know, it was pretty much sold out as well. So that shows the size of the game again and uh, everyone's really looking forward to it.